All right, everybody. So the rebar debate, do you need it or don't you need it? Short answer is no. I will explain to you the exceptions. So as I explained on my TikTok video, I had a guy camp come up to us today and say that we were doing shoddy work because we didn't put any rebar in the sidewalk that we were pouring. If you see this sidewalk, this was built almost 100 years ago. We're talking about 90, 91 years ago. This was built in 1933. Sidewalk is actually in pretty good shape. Other than the fact that this section has been pushed up because of that tree that was there. We cut it down, but the tree and the tree roots pushed it up. But even if you look at the sections that have been lifted, they're not broken. They're not broken in half. You see segments. Those two segments are separated, but the concrete's in good shape. And people think that rebar prevents cracking or that if you have a tree and you have rebar in there, it will prevent the tree from pushing it up. It will not. These cracks would not be prevented with rebar. What rebar will do is prevent those pieces from separating from each other. But we don't necessarily need that here in Los Angeles because we don't have freezing winters where you have precipitation, water going down in those cracks and freezing and thawing and freezing and thawing like in New York or Boston uh, Colorado, any of those types of climates that creates a hazard because now you have these big gaps. So that's why you need rebar and flat work there. You also need rebar and structural work. And by structural work, I mean, if you have a big parking deck with concrete slabs, or you have a big concrete grade beam that's overhead, you need rebar in there so that if you do have cracks or you have three sections, for instance, if you didn't have rebar, that section in the middle, once it dropped out, the rest of the beam would collapse on itself. But if you have rebar in there that holds those pieces together in that they don't fall out, it maintains most of its structural integrity. Now, I want you to take a look at this slab. Charlie's on a machine that uh, we were demoing. And look at that. That's a nine-foot slab. It weighs over 2,000 pounds. I don't know if you can appreciate how much this machine is moving. You'll be able to once you see him drop it. Watch the machine that he's sitting on. Watch when he drops it. You see how much it shakes? And even when he drops it, the slab doesn't break. You can see it teetering inside of there. Watch this. And he's giving it a good shaking. Look at that. It's still teetering. You just don't need it. So when people say, oh, you have to have rebar and in your sidewalk or your driveway, you don't need it. Now, if you have really heavy traffic, like our dump truck right there, if it's driving on a driveway, you would want rebar. In because the weight of it could cause that concrete to crack. And then when it drove back over it, or you had another vehicle that drove on it, that would then cause the concrete to start separating. So if you have really heavy vehicles on a driveway, you want much thicker concrete and you also want rebar for those two reasons. Hopefully looking at these videos and listening to this explanation can give you an understanding though of why generally you don't need rebar in flat work.